In this demonstration, we will see debridement being performed with a dermal curette. This is a debridement for the indication of a pressure ulcer that has yellow necrosis present within the base of the wound. This is oftentimes necrotic subcutaneous tissue or necrotic muscle or fascia. It is different from the more black eschgar, which is a leathery, more adherent type of necrosis. In this demonstration, we've used a pig foot and chicken fat to simulate a pressure ulcer with yellow necrosis. Initially, a dermal curette, four millimeters, has been selected. A dermal curette has cutting edges on both sides of a circular blade. It is commonly held in a pen-like fashion and is applied at a 45 degree angle to the wound bed. It is important to maintain the curette parallel to the surface of the wound as turning it on edge will create a knife-like application. Using short strokes, the physician will begin to remove the necrotic tissue from the underlying healthy tissue as demonstrated in this video. It is important to use short strokes and apply uniform pressure as any erratic movements can result in a deeper incision which might lead to hemorrhage. Prior to performing a debridement, it is essential to achieve adequate anesthesia so as not to cause any discomfort to the patient. This can be achieved using topical benzocaine or injectable anesthetics such as lidocaine. As the debridement progresses, you'll see that the yellow necrotic tissue is removed. Any underlying capillaries that are bleeding can be easily controlled with pressure and the wound can finally be cleansed with saline to remove any loose debris. Alternatively, a 15 blade scalpel and forceps can be used to perform debridement of yellow necrosis. Commonly, this is achieved for a larger wound or a wound that has more adherent yellow necrosis than might be easily removed with a dermal curette. A dermal curette, oftentimes the blade will fill with the necrotic tissue being removed and will necessitate more than one instrument. In this demonstration, the scalpel and forcep instrumentation is being used to remove the yellow necrosis. Short, even strokes are applied with minimal pressure being directed into the base of the wound. This will prevent injury to underlying structures as well as minimize any bleeding that may occur. If there are tendon or sensitive critical structures within the base of the wound, these can be avoided and carefully debrided around so as to avoid underlying injury. Thank you.